everybody and welcome back to my channel life with patty and it is sunday and i am doing the challenge with linda from linda's linda's thrifty life where we write in our journal and you can have any kind of a journal you know you can't you don't have to have a a pre-made one like this but this is the one i got and it is called gratitude sunday and so for I think she started it in November, and she's going all the way through December. And then she said in 2022 that she'll do it once a month. So at first I was like, no, I'm going to do it every Sunday, <laughs> even if she's not doing it every Sunday. And then I thought, you know, I can write it every Sunday, but realistically I'll just do the video <laughs> once a month when she does hers because I always have a million things going on. But I did uh, write in my journal today, and... This is my page that I did today. And I have some stars here and some smiley faces and an umbrella. Because I wrote in my journal that for this week I was thinking, you know, there's so many things to always have gratitude for and to be grateful for. Um, but this week here where I live in Northern California has been so, so foggy, you guys. Like I can't even explain to you. Like, the visibility is maybe not even a quarter mile. I, it's really, it's really dense. And so, um, it freaks me out to drive in the fog at night. But fog during the day is not as bad, but it's still bad, you know. And um, <clears throat> there was spots when I was going to work, because I live 10 miles out of town. And there was spots where I literally just looked on each side of the road and follow the lines. And um, where I live, I have to go up on this levee, this very narrow levee. And on one side of me, if you fall off the levee, you fall into an orchard or there's one neighbor. There are houses down there. If you fall to the right, you fall into the river. <laughs> the river is there. And um, so there's no rails, there's no uh, guardrails on the levee. So when it's super foggy and, you know, if you're going one way and somebody's coming the other way, you have to be really careful um, not to go off the levee. And um, thank the good Lord, all five days, it was super foggy. And all five days, I was fine um, traveling all the way to work and home. Um, my boss is really understanding with me when it's foggy and it's dark. So if it, if the fog hasn't lifted for the day much and it's getting dark, I get to go home before it gets pitch dark just because sometimes it rolls in right after dark time. And I've been there before where it's been really dark and I've missed my driveway. Like I missed my driveway three times. Um, so, and then one time I was pulling in and I missed the driveway part itself and was in the orchard. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I just have so much gratitude that the good Lord above watched me all the way there and back all five days and I was safe. Um, you know, when it rains and then we, our temperatures warm up, that's what causes the fog. So it's supposed to not rain again until, um, I think next Monday. So like in a week, and um, we need the rain really bad, so we'll take it. Any time, any shape, any form, we'll take it. But um, when the wind picks up, which I don't like the wind, but I do like the wind because it blows the fog out. But today, like yesterday and the day before, the fog was so uh, thick, and then during the day, it didn't really even, it didn't burn off completely. So today I went to town and um, it was a nice, beautiful, sunny day. So that is what I wrote in my journal about this week. I mean, I have lots of things to be grateful for and show gratitude for, but I'm going to try to write something different every time. And then I can look back on this journal as well and just, you know, um, and then just read what I have written. So... Yeah, I, this is a really great idea that Linda came up with. I really like it, and I'm enjoying it. I So we I've done one, two, three, four weekends, and I've really, really enjoyed this. So I'm going to put Linda's channel in the description box below so you guys can go over and check out her video. I don't know if she is putting all the uh, participants in her description box or not, or if she's just having you hashtag it. 
uh, Gratitude Sunday. I don't know. So anyways, um, have a great week. We're back to work tomorrow. Um, and I had a great weekend. You know, I didn't go shopping out of town. I, I thought I was going to. I'm making three of my granddaughter's craft boxes for Christmas. And I might show them to you before I wrap them up for good so you can see what I put in them. But they all love to craft. And uh, so I was going to go over to Michael's and get the craft boxes that um, have a little handle on them. And then I was like, I really don't want to go to the next town over the bigger city because it's a population of about 100,000. And I just don't want to fight the crowds right now. I don't enjoy crowds anymore. I don't. In, I used to love to go to the mall at Christmas time because everything was decorated pretty and they had Christmas music on and it puts you into the spirit of Christmas. Yeah, I'm beyond that now. <laughs> I'll get my Christmas spirit on right here in my house watching Hallmark <laughs> or crafting or whatever. But I did go to Dollar General and they had some of the decorative boxes, nice big boxes. Um, and so I bought three of those and then I didn't have to go out of town. Yay. And I have plenty of craft supplies. I did buy some more stuff for them at Dollar General, but I have other stuff to add to it. And when I get it all done, I'll show it to you guys because all three are going to be the same. Uh, so I'll just show you one of them and show you what they're like. So, all right, you guys have a great day. Take care. I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.